President Donald Trump could initiate chaos and grave economic disruption by finally making good on his threat to slam shut the southern border, yet he's clearly tempted to do it anyway. Such a dramatic gesture would fulfill many of Trump's most fundamental short-term political goals and indulge a domineering personality and a desire to please his most vehement supporters that drives so much of his behavior as president. Our detention areas are maxed out and we will take no more illegals. Next step is to close the border. Trump tweeted on Monday after telling reporters over the weekend, I'm not playing games. Trump's anti-immigration rhetoric and willingness to flout international norms suggest he cares little about the humanitarian and diplomatic implications of such a radical move, which he has threatened to take as early as this week. Yet the swift and severe economic impact of closing the border on industries like auto manufacturing, retail and fresh produce, and on U.S. exports to a top trading partner, Mexico could finally stay the president's hand and suggests he could be bluffing again. There were also signs Monday that the administration could be using the threat of a border closure to leverage more action from regional governments to stop the flight of migrants when Stephen Miller, Trump's senior advisor, said the president was not quite ready to decide on a border closure. We will see how much progress we are able to make in the ensuing days in terms of getting more enforcement with Central and South America so that we are not getting swamped by meritless asylum claims predominantly from Central America, Miller told top administration immigration surrogates on a conference call, according to notes taken by a listener and obtained by CNN. A border closure could immediately hike prices of fruits and vegetables all over the United States at a time of the growing season, when Mexico is an especially important source of America's food. Within a few days, shortages could ripple around the country, including in Trump's political heartlands of the Midwest and the South. We haven't seen a time in the U.S. when supermarket shelves are bare from fresh produce in a long time, said Lance Umeyer president of the Fresh Produce Association of the Americas. We have grown very accustomed to having all the food we want when we want to eat it and at a price that is reasonable. So while Trump would be handing a win on immigration to his supporters on one hand, he could be taking away something even more vital on the other a political equation that may weigh against a border closure. The impact in the U.S. in general including with the president's base would be quite substantial and happen quite quickly, said Jeff Thale, vice president of programs at the Washington Office on Latin America, a human rights and advocacy organization.